David Bailey. I own BTC Media. Today we're exhibiting Why Bitcoin, which is the number one educational source about Bitcoin, the digital currency. It's a peer-to-peer -peer decentralized uh, digital currency that I can send over the internet to anyone, anywhere, instantaneously for free. It doesn't require banks or middlemen. It's completely peer-to-peer -peer and decentralized. The response has been great. We went through a bunch of magazines. We have a couple left. I wish I had somebody here to help me because a lot of people had questions about Bitcoin. Most young people know what Bitcoin is. Uh, it's a bit infamous because, you know, you can go online and buy drugs with it. But uh, over the past year, it's gotten a lot more credible as major banks have started investing into it. And so now everyone wants to know, you know, ask about Visa or American Express or Goldman Sachs that are all investing in a Bitcoin and digital currency. So. A lot of people knew what it was and a lot of people had questions. In fact, some people surprised me with how much they knew. They had really detailed questions. Started in 2009, well really in late 2008, but 2009 is when it got its first user. And um, you know, now there's 5 million Bitcoin users. When the price of Bitcoin first started trading, you could buy 1,600 Bitcoins for $1. Now one Bitcoin costs $400. So if you had invested $1 six years ago, you now have half a million dollars today. So. It is the world's best performing financial asset of all time. And I think that in five to 10 years from now, the price is gonna be significantly higher than where it is now. I think instead of having 5 million users, it's gonna have 500 million users, and it's gonna be the predominant currency and uh, means of exchange for developing countries that have really bad currencies like Argentina and Russia and Zimbabwe.